A girl is looking at her glasses on the floor. She asks for help because she can't find them. She grabs the legs of a woman passing by, asking for help. The woman refuses to help her and says that is none of her business. The girl says that she's not good enough. Later, another woman on the phone passes by, and she grabs her legs, asking for help. The woman ignores her and tells her to get lost. On the phone, she tells the other person that it was just a crazy girl in the street. The girl says that she believes that woman failed too. Moments later, another woman passes by and notices the girl crying for help. She grabs the girl's glasses and hands them to her. She asks if she's alright and asks where her parents are. She says that they live nearby. The woman offers to take her home, but the girl refuses and says that she doesn't want to bother her. The woman says that she wouldn't mind, but the girl says that's okay because she looked busy. The girl thanks her, and the woman tells her to take care and leaves. The girl nods and says that she's the one. She covers herself in grease, and approaches the woman who refused to help her. She notices the woman eating a pastry and requests a bite because she is starving. The woman tells her to wait a moment. She grabs a piece of her pastry and drops it on the floor, telling the girl to eat it up and leave her alone. The girl leaves, desolated. Later, the girl approaches the other woman who refuses to help her. The girl asks for some of her ice cream because she is very thirsty. The woman says that it's a pleasure and starts to pour the ice cream over the girl's hair. She bullies the girl, telling her to shut up. She says that she no longer looks like a homeless girl. The woman who offered to help her before sees everything and tells the arrogant woman that she's an idiot. He helps the girl to clear her face. She asks the girl if she's alright and if she wants something to drink or eat. The girl says that she would love to. The woman hands her an apple and a bottle of mineral water. The girl thanks her for everything. The girl smiles and says goodbye to her. Later, the three women are sitting together on a sofa. One of them arrogantly sees a cleaner working in there and tells her to be careful. The cleaner squeezes a wet cloth and ends up sprinkling a bit of water on them. They get up, and the two arrogant women say that she's a nasty worker and say that she should lick her shoes dry now that they're soaked. The other woman offers to help the cleaner. A man gets out of the interview room and invites them inside. The two arrogant women enter the room, belittling the woman and the cleaner. The woman tells the cleaner not to worry about them. The cleaner wishes her luck with her interview. The interviewer asks them to take a seat. He asks them about their experience as nannies. The woman wearing a yellow jumper says that she's been working as a nanny for seven years and that he has a master's degree in psychopedagogy. She says that she has worked for years with children from high society. The other arrogant woman says that she has been working as a nanny for 10 years and took care of the governor's daughter and other politicians' children. She says that she also took care of some famous people's children. The other woman, wearing a yellow jumper with white hearts, says that she has no degrees or a lot of experience, but she took care of all her younger nephews, nieces, and siblings, eight in total. The two arrogant women belittle her, saying that she has no chance of getting that job. The interviewer tells them to stop because he won't allow that behavior in there. She calls his daughter to approach the room. The girl approaches and presents herself as Pamela. The woman who took care of the governor's daughter says that her name is Daniela. And the woman with a master's degree in psychopedagogy says that her name is Sandra. The woman who took care of her siblings says that her name is Alexandra. The woman asks them to hand her her glasses on the table. 
Sandra and Daniela fight for it. Pamela says that now they're fighting to give it to her, but when she asked for it in the street, they just ignored her. She says that they're a bunch of hypocrites. She says that the girl that they bullied and humiliated was her. Pamela says that they should be ashamed of their behavior. The cleaner says that they should have been more respectful toward her. The girl says that the alleged cleaner is her mother. The man says that there's nothing left to be done and says that he must invite them to leave his house. Pamela tells Alexandra to stay. The mother says that she wants her to be her daughter's nanny. Alexandra asks if they're being serious, and the girl confirms. She says that she was the only one who tried to help her, and for that, she's the one. The father says that it showed that she is a trustworthy and humble person, exactly what they are looking for. The girl asks if she will accept the offer to be her nanny. Alexandra says that she's overwhelmed with the offer and hugs the girl in gratitude. The parents welcome her to the house.